While gun reform legislation has stalled at the federal level again, city and county attorneys across California are taking advantage of red flag laws to remove guns from people deemed dangerous to themselves or others. As Crime Force Dan Kerman reports tonight, a uh, San Francisco judge granted a so-called gun violence restraining order against the man accused of firing blanks inside a Richmond district synagogue. Regardless how the criminal case against suspected San Francisco synagogue shooter Dimitri Mission goes, he will not get any of his firearms back for at least two years. This after a San Francisco judge granted a gun violence restraining order Thursday morning. We're glad we got the two years, although we're disappointed that we didn't receive the full five years that we had requested from the court. Uh, we will uh, most likely need to go back in two years to renew this. San Francisco City Attorney Dave David Chu says gun violence restraining orders are an increasingly used tool to remove firearms from individuals who are a danger to themselves or others. A number of major uh, horrific shootings that have happened in recent years um, involve circumstances where the public knew or someone knew about an individual who was prone to violence, who had access to firearms. And in those situations, if there had been earlier interventions, uh, it is possible that the horrific tragedies that occurred may not have happened. When Mission was arrested for allegedly firing blanks inside a Richmond district synagogue, court documents indicate police searching his home seized over 300 rounds of ammunition, a rifle, a replica rifle, a replica handgun, and a broken rifle. Court documents also indicate prior to the incident at the synagogue, Mission had been arrested numerous times for violent incidents. Mr. Mission is a textbook example of someone who has been a danger to the community and shouldn't have access to firearms. This is the second gun violence restraining order granted this week in San Francisco, and the city attorney's office has two other requests set to be heard next week. We're not holding our breath that with uh, the House of Representatives controlled by Republicans that they're going to take any action to address gun violence on our streets. So we need to use the tools that we currently have, and one of the most important tools that we can use are gun violence restraining orders. In San Francisco, Dan Kerman, Cron 4 News.